Hey YouTube, welcome to Vlogmas Day 3? 4? 4? It's Vlogmas. And I figured for today's Vlogmas video vlog, I would redo my nails. I did a, a video recently sharing about these Danny and Tony gel stickers and I really love them. I had my parents over last, late last night and as we were sitting there, I was just like picking at them and just ended up taking them all off. I'm definitely a picker in terms of like, I will just, I mess around with things. Like it's like a bad habit of mine. So I took off those and figured I'd redo them. I've had these on. These are the gelish soft gel tips in the short round and I filed the sides a little bit to make it a little bit more almond but they are definitely ready to come off I don't know if you guys can see but like around the cuticle area it's already starting to you could probably see it here the most like starting to lift they're pretty secure for the most part but around the cuticle they're definitely starting to lift so I figured I would take them off redo them get a fresh set you can file down and do a fill but what I have found when I do a fill is that you almost run into the issue of messing with the longevity of the nails because you kind of are breaking them down more and more. At least for me personally, even if I did the whole base coat on top with the gel and top coat to kind of try to secure it, the more I file them down, the more uh, they are likely to lift for me. By the way, the new espresso machine obsessed my husband and i both love it so much oh my gosh it's just so good i did an americano and it dispenses a shot they have a setting you just press it you can change the grind size and um i think the volume in the within the app so i set it to max volume max grind size 5.5 seconds and it dispenses a shot hot water i added some half and half and it's basically like a coffee but so much more smooth it's not as watered down like i love a rich smooth drink all at the press of a button so we just have been absolutely loving it. it is nice and hot while I sip on my coffee gonna do that I'm not sure what nail design I will use I have a few here from Danny and Tony I have the black one these two came together they're like these fun holiday ones these are absolutely so cute I love these so I might do that these two came together and then these two came together the gel stickers last about a week or two but I figured I would do my nails in today's video I'm gonna need to take a shower later in the day because I do want to self tan. We have a Christmas party every year for the past, I think, seven or eight years because my daughter's seven. But we started a tradition with my friends. We all have kids that are kind of the same age. We all had kids around the same time, especially our first kids. So before our firstborns were even one year old, we had our first Christmas. It's like a PJ party of sorts. We dress up the kids in PJs, sometimes ourselves and we do secret santa for the kids it's tomorrow we're doing it at my friend lisa's house so i have to go to the grocery store and get some things we do almost like a potluck of sorts everybody brings something and i'm really excited because we just love doing it. my friend alina's flying in if you're watching this vlog it's like our group of friends and it's just always such a great time so i'm really excited for that i'll see if i'll include snippets of that for tomorrow's vlog but today it's just mainly prep so i want to do nails self tan Later tonight, I have the Mind Tan Self Tanner that I absolutely love that I'll share about. And I do have to go to the grocery store. It's kind of it for today. But I figured I would kind of focus on those things for today's vlog. These vlogs are nice because you kind of get to know a person better, I feel like. Kind of hang out with them. I have this Moitier set here from the Moitier 10 Day Nails, which I wasn't too crazy about. But it has this remover oil, which I think it's just an oil. And what I'm going to do is actually put it around the cuticle so it can seep underneath the nail and help loosen it that way hopefully I can kind of like pop it off but I will say this is not nail glue this is not the safest way to do this this is the gel X dupe method so you take a nail and using a base coat you cure it under a lamp and that is how you secure the nail onto your own the nail form onto your own using a base coat so it is very strong in my opinion but this cuticle oil does help since they're already kind of loose it does help I would just I just wouldn't recommend this method because you can potentially damage your nails. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing. Just to be honest, I just don't feel like filing them down and using alcohol, soaking them in alcohol. That is the safest way. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off. Alright, the nails are off. I definitely do not recommend this method um, because you can, ooh, you can damage your nails. But I was just lazy, so... What I did is kind of like let the oil under the cuticle, use the cuticle pressure, let some more oil under there, use the cuticle pressure, try to be as gentle as possible. There's only one nail that I feel like I wasn't gentle enough with and I kind of ruined and it's very thin. So do not recommend this at home, but 
just um, I know somebody out there I know somebody out there might say something or might be thinking something which is fine but you know these are my nails just don't do it at home as for application I'm gonna go ahead and buff them gently I already washed them with soap to get rid of the oil so you want to prep your nails I am gonna be using a primer from the Moitier line as well my nails just do well with this primer so I'm gonna use that and then once I have my primer on what you do is pick a size out your nails you know pick the right size the correct size let me just grab a random one to demonstrate for example let's say this one I love these from Jolish because they are pretty thin on the bottom I will say and then they thicken at the cuticle and they have a decent bend to them I had no issues with any of them cracking while I had them on and the same can be said of these other nail forms that I order in a clear box those are very well very good gelish tips as well and you can get those for like five bucks so i'll link those down below as an alternative but i buy these specifically because they are short and i don't have to file them down because i feel like filing down takes forever and i hate that part so what you're gonna do is there are some great great tutorials on youtube but for the sake of this video i thought i would share you just basically take your base coat Sometimes they come in a kit and they have a nail glue, which is an essentially similar formula to a base coat. You brush it on the underside of the nail. You don't want too much where it's going to ooze out when you press it on your nail. And you don't want too little where you're going to have like air pockets. And then you take your nail tip from cuticle all the way to the nail tip, press it down, make sure there are no bubbles, and then cure it under a lamp. There's a Beatles lamp that I use and it is so great for this technique because your hands are free and they will fit under there you don't have to worry about like you know trying to get your nail under there while you're holding it holding it down so i love that lamp um, but you can definitely use a traditional lamp like the typical nail lamps so that's the technique these are the before this is the after it's been about an hour or so I filed them down on the sides a little bit just to create more of an almond shape versus a round shape but the size, the length I kept so filing them can take a little bit of time but you don't have to like worry about trimming them and then getting that perfect shape because the shape is basically there you just kind of like tweak it or you could keep the round shape if you want but I'm gonna take a break because I'm hungry and I'm sure the kids are too I'm gonna clean this up and then do the gel stickers portion later I actually really don't like mind even keeping them like this I I don't know, I've been loving like the whole transparent nail look, but I will use the gel stickers for like the Christmas party and everything. And I ordered on Instacart groceries to be delivered. I ordered the mini bagels for tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing like a bagel board. So I'll do mini bagels. I have some cream cheese spreads, cucumbers, smoked salmon. So I'm gonna go make something for lunch now. I actually had an every plate box get delivered. And let's see what's inside the every plate box. I have every plate come in every Friday. Some weeks I'll skip if we already have um, enough food in the fridge and I don't feel like ordering anything because I know that it'll go to waste. With these, you do have to, oh, creamy white bean and broccoli soup. Actually sounds really good. And then I also got sesame teriyaki salmon. I love majority of the every play recipes. It takes the thinking right out of it. I don't have to worry about what's for dinner. Everything is there. It's a lot more affordable than other meal subscription kits. And I don't know, I just really like it. Uh, the kids, it's a little bit tricky because you don't always eat everything. But for me and my husband, it's, we love it. So everything comes in, obviously an insulated box with the ice pack and it, everything is thrown into this cardboard box. It's not prepackaged like HelloFresh and all those others. And then this is the Atlantic Salmon. You have the meats on the bottom with the ice pack here to keep everything nice and cold. I think I'm gonna make the white bean and broccoli soup. It actually sounds really good.
topped off with some sour cream and then this is Parmesan cheese with some garlic roasted on like the top rack in the oven. Let's give this a try. It's so sunny outside. It's actually freezing a cold out today and it's super sunny whereas yesterday it was super gloomy and rainy but it was warm and today it's freezing. It's like there's no winning. Let's give this a try. The broth is really good. I love the every plate soup, so. Mm, love it. I'll leave my referral link down below if anybody wants to get a deal. They have, like anybody that has every plate has their own referral link where they can like share with friends, family. I think it's get $20 every time you share $20 that kind of situation so you'll get $20 off your first three boxes they might have changed it but your meals come out to I want to say two something per meal for the first three boxes you can cancel after the first box if you don't like it uh, very easy to cancel just cancel the subscription but it's worth giving it a try if you just want to try it out um, we try I tried it out sometime over a year ago and we've just been loving it. and after I'm done with this I think I'm gonna do the Christmas nails finally like the Christmas design since my kids already ate and they're playing. These are the nails. I think they look pretty cool. I actually really love this print. You do have to be careful with the plaid one. You can't really stretch it out because if you do, it will warp the design. You can kind of see it on some of them if you like look closely. So I would rather, like right here, you can see it's like a little bit squiggly, you see that? And then I put a matte top coat on top. I had one from Beatles and I think it looks so cool. Love this. So did the nails, wrapped some presents for tomorrow, the PG party, just like some craft paper that I had with some green yarn. And then thinking to take a shower so that my hair is all ready. And I'm gonna self tan, but I do that right before bed. So I'll do that last. Right now I am going to self tan and I personally love Mind Tan self tanners. I have worked with them in the past and they're just a brand that I ended up loving so much sticking with. You can buy them on Amazon or the Mind Tan website. Somebody asked, actually asked me on Instagram about self tanning situations and I looked up, I have a code with them that I did when I, that I had when I collabed, Tosh20. And it looks like it still works. So if you buy it off the website, they get 20% off. And a lot of times they have like random generic, generic codes you can find online. But I'm gonna use them in color Ultra Dark. I've tried a handful of their different types of colors. These are nice. They don't make me super duper duper dark, just my skin in general. It's pretty light, so I don't ever get really, really dark unless I already have a pretty decent natural tan underneath, but it does give me a nice natural like flush of color, and um, and that's that. So, let me put down my camera. Oh, by the way, I want to show you guys a new ring that came in. Literally, just came in. It's so cute. I saw an ad on Instagram. I feel like these Instagram ads get me all the time, and it's from the brand Bold, I think it's Bold Monique. And they have different kinds, but this one says, God is with you in this gorgeous script. And it is a thicker ring, so I sized up to a size eight. I usually wear a size, I look kind of like a size seven on most fingers, but this is a size eight that I can wear on my thumb as well. And I just thought it was really cool. So check them out. I'll link, leave their Instagram down below or their website. I thought that was super cool. I have been using most self tanners for as long as I can remember, they didn't really have them when I was like in high school. At least not that I was aware of. So I started using them maybe towards college, maybe towards the end of high school. I can't really remember. And I use them with a mitt. Some people love using a latex type glove. I try the glove. I don't like it. Um, it's a little bit harder to blend into the skin, but I do feel like you waste less product, but I just prefer the mitt and I love the mitt. So I use, it's like a microfiber type mitt. Make sure you get one that's not thin and it's not gonna leak through. This one's from Mind Tan because I have used really thin mitts that would leak through and then my entire palm is covered in self tanner and that's the last thing that you want because then that's gonna be a dead giveaway. I will usually exfoliate. I have a, I'll insert a picture of the body polish from Lux Tan Unfiltered. I think it's a great exfoliant because it's not too gritty, not too harsh. Also, Kind of moisturizes a little bit 
And then once I'm done with that, I don't self tan right after the shower. I let my pores close. I mean, you can hit your self with like a cold shower at the end if you wanted to, but I kind of wait or I'll self tan the next day. But you do want to make sure you're exfoliated, sh um, shaved, all that good stuff. And then I already know where tan grabs on the most for me, which is around my knees and like around my ankle area where my foot is and like right here, it just grabs on there the most. So before I self tan, I make sure to moisturize those areas and I start from my feet and work my way up. So I'll start around my calves and whatever's left over from those first two pumps. I will go over my toes, my ankles. I don't put a fresh pump on those areas. I just use whatever's left over on the mitt and then the same thing over the knees. I don't put a fresh pump on the knees because tan grabs on pretty fast in those areas. So I just glide over the knees with whatever's left over on the mitt, work my way up, do my back before I do my arms. So I'm able to grab my elbow and like really get in there, all the different angles and blend it in. In the winter time, I'm not too particular about the back because no one, no one really sees that area anyway, but I do like to self tan the back anyway. And then the chest I'll do, the neck, whatever's left over on the mitt, I'll go over on my face, like a light layer just to give a nice flush of color. And then I will do the arms. And then when it comes to the hands, that's kind of like the trickiest part. Whatever's left over on the mitt again, I will spread my hands out, my fingers out, and I kind of like hug them almost with the mitt. I don't go in the crevices of the fingers. I just do like two swipes back and forth, back and forth. And then I'll blend this in and go around the wrist and just make sure that I have a decent amount of color, but not too much because you don't want your hands to be stark white either, but you don't want them to be crazy dark. So I feel like it does, it's a, it's a learning process, but I feel like most self tanners are very user friendly because they have a guide color. So they allow you to see where you are applying the self tan as you're applying it. So you can tell, oh, I need to blend this in a little bit more or I didn't, I missed this spot here and then let it develop, I would say for six to eight hours. So I do this before bed. That way I'm not washing my hands because if you get water on it, sweat, it's gonna streak and then you're gonna be left with a bit of a streaky tan. So I do this before bed. That way I could just wake up in the morning, wash off that guide color and whatever you're left with is a gorgeous natural looking tan. Even though my tan is pretty good when it comes to transferring onto the sheets and stuff and it doesn't usually transfer, it still can a little bit. So I do like to wear like really loose pajamas. I just thought I would like talk through what I do because if you are a beginner, then it's nice to know these tips. And I do think that there are many great videos online, but if you're looking for a great affordable self tanner, I will say just give my tan a try. They have a huge line range of products to choose from. This is ultra dark. You can go for something more natural like their wonder tan, but I did find that their wonder tan does take a little bit to dry down. It has a little bit of like a moisturizing effect to it. So check them out. I'm in the other bathroom now, but I wanted to show you guys the guide color. Gives off like a very nice, this is not gonna be the tan that stays, unfortunately. I know I love this color, but this will wash off in the morning. When you take a shower, the guide color is gonna wash off and you just be left with like a natural, depending on your skin tone and things like that. Um, just like a very nice natural tan in my opinion. So I have been loving mine tan. Would always, I always recommend them to everyone. So give them a try if you haven't tried them already. I'll link it down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog with the nails. I actually love how they came out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow.